Hello and welcome to the show. We are here on GTA 5 today with a map that I have made. Yes, I've actually made a racetrack. I wanted to make a proper, see if I could make a proper race circuit that we could have some really, really close wheel to wheel action around. And this is what I came up with. It took me about an hour, an hour and a half. I think a faff figure out. That's mostly trying to relearn all the creator tools on, uh, on Xbox. And yeah, I'm quite pleased. It's a relatively short lap around here, which is why we are doing an eight lap race here in the Nightshade. It's a car that I don't think we've ever used in a race. Poor getaway from me here, from the uh, pole position, fallen down to a third place already. The nightshades are quite oversteery. They are a, uh, yeah, an interesting one to uh, get through some of these early, uh, early corners. It kind of takes a minute to kind of recalibrate your driving almost to uh, get used to these. You have to have a bit of a, a mid-corner catch right, uh, right there as we're running down these... Uh, Slightly, it's slightly shorter straights than I intended. When I was building the map, it felt like this, uh, this you know, this track was relatively long. But uh, when you actually go and drive it, it turns out it's a lot shorter than you were expecting it to end up. But uh, yeah, that's just one of those things. It is all oh, a three-car battle for the lead. Thought about having a dive. Wasn't going to make it. Big, big twitch from the orange car. Are we going to make it three wide into turn one? Oh, we're going to make it four wide. <laughs> the black car got mega, mega run out of that turn. And he will go and take the lead. Little bit of lag. I thought he was going to spin, but did get away with it. I uh, kind of ran far too deep into that, uh, into that corner. We have got catch up and slipstream turned on. Why? Simply because I want as close a race as possible. And from the, the brief test race we did, it worked bloody brilliantly. And at the moment, we are looking at a group of uh, nightshades that are running around this track together. I got that corner all wrong. That's not good. We're going to have to defend the inside up towards... Oh, we got a big twitch on the curb. I'm sorry, my bad, to the red vehicle. We're both going to lose out to the black car again. <laughs> Although, I've got a better runoff of the turn. We might have lost the rear window, but... We are, oh, can we make it work here? It's a long way to go around the outside there. It isn't going to happen. Or maybe it will. Maybe it will. I think the orange car is going to come soaring. Someone's going to come soaring past on the outside. It's five wide. Ah, that's not going to fit. It somehow, how did that work? How did we not all have a tremendous accident? I will never know. But we made it stick. Yellow car, I think he just clipped the faintest of touches. That's all it takes on the back of the red vehicle. Upset his own car rather than the red car. And would uh, lose out a little bit there. Uh, we're going to have a mega slipstream. But nowhere to really go with it. Kind of the apex of that corner narrows down in a uh, horrible, let's say a horrible angle. It just it narrows down, especially when you're trying to fit three cars into it. Got to sort of dodge the, oh, slightly yaggy yellow car. And we're round. And we are done for. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it indeed. We will uh, save that one. We've fallen. Oh, we were fighting. We were, we were in the in the big lead group, but uh, that will drop us down. However, we have got time. We have got time. You know, we've got to make up sorts of uh, three or four seconds, but we have got half the race still to go. And we might actually bring the other car, uh, car behind us with us. Oh, yellow vehicle. Uh, <laughs> We've made it past this time without being without being murdered. It is easy to make little mistakes with these cars. As I said, it's very easy, as you can quite clearly see with them. They will just ever so slightly break loose. Uh, in fact, you can see there the what the. <laughs> The kind of unloaded wheel hopping off the ground. Oh, someone's had a big accident at one of the uh, the night. Well, kind of ninety degree corners. The the racing line that you'll end up taking, you'll slightly smooth it out. But uh, yeah, it, someone clips the inside wall, and the rest of the field will all bundle into them. It's all very close. I think we've got a little bit of a bump draft going on down there. I'm out wide. I'm out wide. I'm in trouble. We've slowed it down. Brilliant move from the blue car there. That's an absolutely incredible pass to uh, spot that one and get the car changed direction. We've got some lag going on up ahead of us. Uh, unsurprisingly, uh, a single laggy car is going to make a uh, nuisance of this. My turn to be pile drive into the uh, <laughs> into the wall. Please let that be the lag okay, okay. laggy cars. Laggy cars out of commission. Uh, yeah, only took us a lap to really get back into the uh, fight back amongst. Uh, everyone here. Shame it's not for the lead, but I will take a fight over 8th, ninth place, wherever we may end up being over running around on your own. Uh, they're gonna be careful. Oh dear. Carefully does it so. 
<laughs> Someone's got put up onto two wheels. It was, uh, yeah, trying to run two right through that corner can work, but the car on the outside does have to take a very, very wide line. You've got to give plenty, plenty of space to the uh, the vehicle on the inside through there if you are planning on making it too wide. Otherwise, you get squeezed into the wall and it's going to ruin both of your well both of your laps maybe not the entire race as i said you can recover a little bit but uh yeah it will cause a, a lot of problems for those of you that are wondering by the way i don't even know if i covered this at the start of the video it, it, the, the racing got very exciting very quickly uh reason why i'm driving an offensive blue car rather than my customary orange one as uh reason not taking part today uh, i have to represent the offensively offensively blue vehicles so yeah now <laughs> That's the that's simple reason. Big oversteer moment by me caused me to uh, lose a couple of places. Uh, we're going to go. That's how you go around the outside of somebody at that corner. There is a, a textbook example a lap later having talked about it. Yeah, you've just got to you give them plenty, plenty of space because even if you're not squeezing them into the inside, if they make a mistake and bounce off the inside wall, if you've given them plenty of space, you won't be affected by them. That is a really scary corner there to try and dive to the inside because you clip the tyre bundle and it's game over down that part. It looks like it's going to be three cars wide up ahead into turn one. <laughs> I'd like to be a part of that battle as there's an orange car. Oh, I might be. I might get my wish. Ah, oh, blind corner caused problems. Blind corner caused many a problem and we're down to tenth again. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I cannot catch a break in this one. Little bit of a shame. The first three laps were amazing. It's gone slightly downhill after that. A little mistake from me with the oversteer moment last lap. And then, yeah, it looks like there's a really, really close race going on at the front, which I would uh, very much like to be a part of, but not going to be uh, not going to be quite able to, unless some bizarre miracle. We've, we've pretty much used up all of our nine lives in uh, getting back onto the tail end of this, uh, this field. It's the way it goes with GTA races. You get the bad luck, and uh, that is what can happen. We do still have a lap, and it's a brilliant run out of that final corner. Absolutely perfect run out of the final corner for me. We're going to get up the inside on the run into the first corner. Just want to have a check, make sure no one was trying to do a similar thing to uh, to me. The orange car keen to dive back into, uh, into line through there. Now, if we can get on the tail of the two ahead, get some slipstream on them, we might be able to fend off these uh, three vehicles for the remainder of this race. Yeah, we, we might. It's gonna be it's gonna be a mad, a mad scramble to the finish line. Try not get too much oversteer. Someone had a dive and it went wrong <laughs> on the inside there. Well, it's not it's not quite gone as cleanly as I had hoped this race. I will be honest. Oh no, Lagmobil, Lagmobil, no, don't do it. A very very close finish between that uh, that top two. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do anything. Whoa. Almost rolled. Oh, no. We got screwed over by a... Oh, it's gone on there. I think my car's so broken that it's actually having issues with a... T oh, dear. I don't know what happened there. I have no idea why we very nearly rolled. That cost us all of our positions. Never had a car do that in any of the testing we did around here. It never even got close in the test runs with the nightshade. So, that's an odd one. That is a very odd one. It's a shame we might have been able to get a better run to the line and take the purple car. Uh, it's 11th place for me. Did uh, did not go well. It was a brilliant first few laps, and then I just had none of the luck. That's the way it goes sometimes. Let's hope next race we do better. Now, it wouldn't be right to come to a racetrack without using an actual proper race car. So we have got two of them. The Jester and the Mascaro, or whatever the damn thing is called. Never pronounce it. Uh, we're going to, uh, yeah, taking these around here. Nine lap race of this circuit. I am hoping I can get off to, well, I say get off to a better start. We have got off to a better start because we haven't plummeted to third. I'm hoping that we can stay at the front. We don't get uh, deposited down the order quite so quickly. Get away with little contact like that. That's fine. That's, it's, you know, might have to have a little bit of a lift, but in the grand scheme of things, that's not going to affect us too much. Not going to have a big dive down there, although uh, <laughs> might have braked at the... I don't know if I braked at the wrong point. Well, I think I did break slightly early, but the same point the nightshade was. I did also notice a thing cannoning around in the background that could have uh, given someone a little bit of an assistance directly towards the back of my car. That was very, very close. <laughs> Two very different lines through there can often end in utter, utter disaster. The leader's making a little bit of a breakaway for it. Uh, oh, I was expecting him to go defensively, and he didn't. So that's just... <laughs> 
<laughs> kind of moved across to take the normal racing line. Obviously, didn't realise how much of a run I was going to be uh, to be getting from further back. Well, we have yeah, pretty much caught the leader in a couple of corners. Oh, <laughs> there was some understeer there. There was some uh, some understeer there. I think my car stuck on a curb. I didn't want to uh, get off of that one. There's a big old battle going on behind us for the third back. Can't spend too much time watching that one, though, when we've got to try and find a way to uh, make a pass for the lead around the outside. Yep, we'll get the move done before we get to the corner. That's okay. We will we will take the lead for now. I have no doubt he's going to fire himself back down the inside. I made it difficult for him, but uh, yeah, it's going to get moved up. It's almost like we've got sort of like a mega DRS system going on with these cars. The slipstream is a little bit a little bit crazy overpowered. However, it does give you the effect of that if you do happen to get overtaken, you kind of don't defend quite as aggressively uh, with these cars. You know, you'll still defend, but you don't always defend quite as aggressively. And that sometimes makes for uh, a little bit better racing, a little less mistakes are made. Because you know if they come flying past, well, you'll get the slipstream, that'll give you a little bit of a boost back. So you've got a way back into the, uh, back into the fight. I, it, it works. I like it. And for entertainment's sake, it uh, keeps the races as interesting as possible, as close as possible. Uh, we are kind of making a little bit of a three-car breakaway at the front. Didn't really get the slipstream proper down there. We kind of had to duck back in. It didn't really work. Is the yellow car going to try and go around the outside? It looks like he's going to make that one stick. Yes, he is. Well done. We're going to have to now try a long way around. It's never going to work for me. They didn't have the speed coming into the court. We might get it done here, although I have been running perilously wide which is <laughs> we're swapping sides all the time at the moment down into this uh, nasty corner try to get the braking right there is so tough uh, we've got a pink car coming to join us the jesters are not necessarily going to have it all their own way here now we got to move done here a lap or so ago pink car thought about it i backed out of that because i didn't know where he was going pink car is going to get to the inside i'll give him space for that here we go, we've got the big old toe down towards turn one, fire the car up the inside again, I think I, I think I am slowing down a little bit too much for these corners in the sports car, oh, yellow jester ended up in the wall somewhere, no, you're not going to be able to get a pass down there, hasn't got the momentum, hasn't got the speed at uh, that moment in time, well, my uh, semi-ally in another jester, is, well he's fallen back a little bit, it'll probably not take him long to uh, catch up and join in the action, not sure where the pink car is, uh, Planning I'll go. I actually left the door open a lot more there than I was uh, wanting to. Now, if we cover this side, make it uh, make it difficult. Get the inside for this part, but then you have to go the long way around by the tyre bundle. That's not necessarily where you want to be, although you can do that on the exit of the corner. It's side by side. We have got the speed. Oh, the yellow jester has come firing back up the inside. We're back to a three-car battle for the lead. We lost two places in all of that one. We might be about to gain them back, though. It's a crisscross around the outside of both of them. Yes, it's going to work. It'll be on the inside for the next corner. I will take that. I will take that indeed. Oh, it's going to come a four-car battle. That's not so good. That's not so good at all through there. Well, I say not so good through there. That's a good, good enough corner from me. We've actually made a little bit of a gap. It's uh, going to be a interesting climax to this race. It was me and the yellow car that uh, came undone in the first race. A little tangle between us that uh, caused the uh, the early kerfufflings with the nightshades. So, if <laughs> we could all keep it clean. The other two, um, fifth and sixth, are not too far behind either. So he's going to come soaring past on the outside. He will uh, get it stopped in to a turn one. Could we have a six-car battle for the lead? Got to give the pink car space. He got his nose up alongside. Don't want to turn across him. I'll end up spinning myself doing that. Uh... Gonna get a good run with two. Oh, not again! I got him back, pointing the right way. Managed to stay out of trouble. I <laughs> like the initial contact there was completely caused by lag. I never touched the car, and it started spinning. Um, that's yeah. <laughs> Good old GTA connections, a little bit failing us right there. We got away with that one, though. Uh, there goes the uh, red car. He's going to fire himself past me. And I got stuck on the inside. A little bit too tight on the inside. Has cost all of my momentum down the start-finish line. We are going to get caused 
big, big slipstream to the inside at turn one. It's a big dive. Thought I could pull that one up. I couldn't. <laughs> I dumped the pink car back down the order. Uh, my bad. That was a little bit optimistic by me. I mean, we got it stopped. We didn't take we didn't take anyone out of the race. We didn't actually. I don't think we actually touched in all of that. But he had to back out of the move. He had to. Uh, yeah, take some some serious avoiding action down there. Oh, God. <laughs> I forgot how much boost you get from the slipstream effect. Again, forced a little bit wide. No real harm done, though, at the moment. It's going to come down. A four-car battle might even become a five-car battle by the end of this lap for the uh, race victory. The two jesters to the inside out of the final corner. I've got the run. The red car is going to go defensive. He's going <laughs> to... <laughs> we're using all of the track. I'm pretty sure we're almost four wide into that opening corner. Slide from the pink car is going to put us up to second, maybe, if we can hold it. <laughs> the leader's out wide there. That was a little bit of understeer from the Jester. Oh, curb and oversteer. That's cost us a little bit. Here comes the red vehicle, though. There's not a huge amount of track. There's not a huge amount of space down there. Oh, there's a car up on its side. Oh, this is not... I say it's not good news for me. The problem I might have is, yes, we've got a little margin. We've got a little gap. But it's the danger zone because the cars behind are probably just going to get slipstream boosted all the way up towards the back of the blue jester. Come on, make the jester wide. Wiggle, it's going to be enough. We're going to claim victory ahead of... <laughs> of the red car. I think the pink ended up with the third place, the yellow jester down in fourth. A little bit bumpy. A little bit bumpy in places on that final lap as everyone was making uh, last-ditch attempts. How close was... <laughs> Look at those fastest laps. The cars further back, of course, with a little bit of catch-up will get faster. Actually, overall fairly even in terms of... Uh, in terms of lap time. Oh, that was an incredible race. That was a truly, truly brilliant race. That was what, nine laps of constant fighting, constant overtaking. I'm quite pleased with this track. A couple of places it could be improved upon, I, I feel. If I have a go at building another sensible racetrack, this is definitely, it's a solid foundation. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I got a win. Admittedly, I don't have the most experience here of anybody, but uh, yeah. There we go. That is going to be it for this video as ever. I shall put a link to this uh, track in the description so you can download it. Have a go with it yourself. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.